It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. And thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's schools. We bring in young people from elementary and middle schools and test their science IQs and we invite you to test your own and see how many of the questions you can answer. Can you match wits with our student players? Today, two great middle schools. Let's meet them right now. First from Benjamin Sauter. Say hello to Donovan. Donovan, nice to have you here. Waved everybody at home. He's the first time we're on the program here. Our captain is Jessica in the center there. She's raring to go here. Nice to have her with us. And Allison is here too from Benjamin Stoddard. Good to have you, Allison. They'll be playing against Kettering Middle School, represented by Kalia. Hey, Kalia, wave to everybody out there. And we have another cougar in the center there. Allison, she's been here before. Hey, Allison, nice to have you back. You're our captain. And a sixth grader, first time on the show. Abner is here, Abner. Good to have you with as well. Here on the Science Bowl, we have six categories of questions. Let's share those categories with you right now. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, our game board shows question difficulty from left to right. Easier questions, five and 10 points. Increasingly tough for 15, 20, 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties for incorrect answers. And yet to the two rounds today, one of these two good looking, talented teams will come back to play Martin Luther King for the chance to be the third of our four semifinalists in this year's middle school competition in this, our 38th year on the air here. Let's go over and make sure everything's working properly. Jessica, would you try your buzzer for us? It looks good, it sounds good. Good luck to you, Donovan and Allison. Hey, Allison, how about the green team? A-OK -okay over there too. Good luck to you, to Kalia and to Abner. Congratulations, guys, being here to represent your schools. You're gonna be great ambassadors no matter what happens. Let's have a great game, B before K. So Benjamin Stoddard and Jessica, let's play that bowl. Let's go. Um, body systems 20. Body assistance for 20 points to start us out. If your doctor orders an EKG, an electroencephalogram, excuse me, electrocardiogram, she's going to check your heart. If she orders an electroencephalogram, she'll be checking out what organ? Um, Jessica. Your lungs. Not your lungs, no. An EKG for your heart, an electroencephalogram for your what, Kettering? What you got? Passing answer to Abner. Abner, what you have? Um, <clears throat> um, head, final answer. Uh, more specifically? Skull. Uh, the brain. The brain is what we're looking for there. I don't think we can give quite, uh, no, good try. You were in the right area. Cephalo was head, electroencephalogram is to examine the brain, the organ we were looking for there. Try again red. Come on, Jessica. Um, green things, 15. Green things, 15 points. Here's that question for you. People who eat kelp, which is a kind of brown algae, never get something called goiter, which is a swelling of the thyroid gland, because kelp contains large amounts of this I initial chemical element. Aren't many that start with the letter I? Kettering. Uh, iodine. Iodine, absolutely right, Abner, good. You were right to say, push that buzzer, yeah, because the captain is taking her cue from you guys. Good. I'm glad you came in on that one. All right, Green, go. Allison, you pick. Um, zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. It's been said that the flapping of the wings of these beautiful Lepidopterous insects 
is how hurricanes get their start. Couple clues there. No, I cannot. We're talking about butterflies. Butterflies was the correct answer there. Beautiful lepidopterous insects flapping their wings. All right, let's turn that light over there. And Allison, you try again. Let's go. Um, body systems for ten. Body for ten. Very carefully listen. Every man receives an X chromosome from his mother but he cannot pass it on to his what? Daughter. Oh. No, no, not daughter. Good try. Kettering. Son. Son, absolutely right. Remember, women have two X's, a man has an X and a Y. You get an X from your mom, and if you're a boy, you got that Y from your dad. All right, so sons was the answer. Yeah, that was an either or. Good try there, Jessica. Go again, Green. Um, green things for 10, please. Great things for 10 points. Here's a question for you. Think about it. Every third bite of food you take comes from a plant that has undergone this P initial process. Pollination, final answer. No, no, no. It could be photosynthesis. It could be photosynthesis. Okay. Uh, they still have the opportunity. I need an answer because Kettering had rung in. Allison, what do you want to tell me? It could be photosynthesis. Pollination, final answer. Yeah. So, I'm hearing two words there. Allison, you tell me what you want. Pollination. Pollination is the right answer. Good answer there. Good. You stuck to your guns. Go green. Body systems for 15. Body for 15 points. The B positive blood type is especially useful as a transfusion for people suffering from the sickle cell variety of this A initialed condition. Sickle cell what? Kettering. Kettering. I know what it is. I'm Amoeba cell? Amoeba. Not amoeba cell, no. Benjamin's amoeba. daughter. This B positive blood type is given to people who have the sickle cell variety of this A initial condition. Anemia. Anemia, that's it. Thanks, Donovan. You knew that. I'm glad you insisted. Sickle cell anemia. anemia. You got those we points. Go red. Um, green things, 25. Green for 25. Big one in that category. Our, uh, this is interesting. You know, aloe vera is that stuff you can put on if you get a burn, it's like a soothing substance. The aloe vera plant, which grows in the desert, has roots, it has leaves filled with that aloe substance, but it does not have this plant part that usually connects the leaves to the roots. What's missing? Stem, final answer. Stem, that's right, there's no stem there. Good, good answer there. Go, Allison, green. Um, Zuparade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. We're still in the zoo. All right. If you've watched your movies, you know this. This M initial African mammal related to the mongoose is perhaps best known because of Timon in The Lion King. Meerkat. Kettering. Oh, meerkat, final answer. A meerkat. That's exactly right. Thank you, Abner. That buzzer says we've come to the end of the first round. It's been a good one. We'll be back with more Science Bowl in just one moment and a few words with each of our players. And we're back for the second half of Science Bowl. 65 for Benjamin Stoddard, Kettering 120. A good first round there. Before we ask any more science questions, a few personal ones. Let's find out about our players here. Let's go first to Benjamin Stoddard. So good to see Benjamin Stoddard back on our show here. Years ago you were with us and you guys are representing your school beautifully here today. Jessica, tell us about Benjamin Stoddard. Who is your principal? Uh, Miss Morgan. Wonderful. And who's the coach of your team? Dr. Martin. And she's here today. She's very proud of you guys. She's been working hard with you, I know. Did you have any alternates on your team? Yeah, but he couldn't make it. Okay, couldn't make it today. I'm sorry. Well, you guys are doing a fine job by yourself. Uh, tell me something about Benjamin Stoddard that you think the audience would like to hear. Something that's special about your school that you like to brag about. We have a lot of creativity. Like, we have a lot of space to be creative. Yeah. You know, and we, if you're not, our voices are heard. What's that? Our voices are heard. Your voices are heard. That's important, you know. And you use a key word there, creative, creativity. You know, if you're an artist or a musician or something, you have to be, some, you have to be creating something in life. That, that's a very satisfying. Tell me what you want to do someday. Um, I want to do marketing and advertisement. Marketing. And uh, Jessica is a boxer? Yeah? And what else do you do in I your like spare time? Skate. I like to go roller skating. Roller skating, yeah. All right, you're keeping yourself physically fit and, you know, advertising and marketing. 
that's, that's the way of life today. You know, that's the American way. You're going to be uh, uh, well received there, young lady. Good to have you. Donovan, tell us the Donovan story. What do you do in your spare time? Oh, uh, my spare time, uh, I hang out with my dog. You know, we play a lot. I walk her sometimes. And I play my game. Like, it, you play it's, your video games. It's yeah. Are you all wearing the badger patches over there? What are those patches, Donovan? Um, they're our logo and our it's name. Your logo. You're Eagles, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, the Eagles are going to soar here today. All right. What do you want to do someday? Oh, I'm still You're still, still thinking about that, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, you're a young guy. You've got plenty of opportunities to nail that down. Allison, nice to have you with us today. Uh, you said you watched this show on TV and you, you're a competitive person. How are you competitive? Do you play any kind of sports yourself? Um, I don't really play sports, but I think when it comes to like academics, I do like to be competitive. Yeah, that's competitive too. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to do someday? Um, I'd like to be a journalist, journalist, maybe for like a magazine. Wow, yeah. We were talking about that before, about how dangerous it can be to be a journalist because people, mm -hmm. you know, they, uh, um, if you don't write the right thing or say the right thing, they, they seem to have it in for you, but you are just yeah. informing all of us about what's really happening out there. Good luck to you with that. Kettering, nice to have you guys with us here. Allison, nice to have you back. Why'd you come back again? We're so happy to have you here. I really enjoyed it the last time. I was, um, the first time I did it, I was actually inspired by my older brother, Riley. Ah, and he was on the show? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a family tradition, that's right. Tell us about Kettering. Who's your principal? Our principal is Miss Shrether. Wonderful, out there cheering for you. And who's your, your coach? Mr. Ahenda. Mr. Ahenda, he is out there, yes. Uh, and I know he has worked hard to get this team together because this came up pretty quickly in the school year here. Tell me uh, something uh, about Kettering that you really, really like, Allison. I definitely like um, that we are one of the only schools that can speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. And then our school also focuses on being accelerated in math and science. And they, Ms. Shrether appreciates the voices of students. Well, that's beautifully said. I remember visiting Kettering last year when the ambassador from El Salvador was there to speak to all of you. And I think you were supposed to have a Chilean ambassador this year who had to, hopefully he just postponed his visit. Yes, yeah, so that Spanish speaking uh, tradition is very strong over there. And what do you want to do someday, Allison? I'm not very sure. I want to be many things, but I think I have enough time to figure it out. You certainly do, and you can do more than just one thing. You know, you can multitask your whole life. Avner, you're a sixth grader. Tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? I like to draw because drawing is really fun. Yeah, and you learning want to be... how to draw different things, yeah. it, it changes your mind. To yeah. And you want to be an animator someday. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I love animated movies. And when you think how many cells they have to do to just make one movement, you know, it's just, a, it's just remarkable. Why would you want to do this today? Why would you want to be on the show? Because my brothers did it. Also, it looks pretty fun. Yeah, I'm hoping you're having fun today. So another family tradition. Kalia, did you have any brothers or sisters on this show ever? No? Tell us why you're here. Um, I'm here because, like, whenever Mr. Hinda, like, show, like, talked to us about it last year when we were in sixth grade, it seemed like a really good opportunity. Yeah, this is a good opportunity. And what do you do in your spare time? I like to um, play different sports. Um, yeah, you have and all like, kinds of sports. Yeah, I know you're, a, you're a, an, a, an academic and an athlete over there. And you said some really nice things about your science teacher, about the, the way he teaches and the, the way he is concerned about all of you. And I just, uh, I appreciate that you said that because it applied to all, te all teachers would like to hear that. So thank you. All right, let's get back into our game. 120 for Kettering, 65 for Benjamin Stoddard. And the last quick answer came from Allison on the green team. Lots of points to give away. Come on, Allison. Body systems for five. Body system for five points. It is said that unfriendly people, which you are not, and hockey players have ice water instead of blood coursing through the second largest. <laughs> Jessica, ice water in there. Veins. Veins. Donovan knows that. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Donovan. Good assist there. Good. Go red. Go ahead, Jessica. You pick. Um, zoo Parade 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Getting sprayed by a skunk is bad enough, but some people in Virginia were recently bitten by a skunk who turned out to have hydrophobia, which is another name for this very Kettering. The fear of water? Again? The fear of water? No, uh, no, that's not what we're looking for there. Benjamin Stoddard, uh, let me finish for you. 
being sprayed by a skunk is bad enough, but some people in Virginia recently bitten by a skunk who turned out to have hydrophobia, which is another name for this very serious disease, also carried by bats and dogs and foxes. It's, the, it's called rabies. Rabies, it is rabies. And Allison, you were actually taking that word apart. It does mean afraid of water. And if you have rabies, that is one of the symptoms. You are afraid of water. And Avner, I think you knew that was rabies, too, as the alternative there. So yeah, just get your signals uh, 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 worked out over there so you don't, are, or you're not at cross purposes. Go red. All right, you're up to 85 points. Come on, Jessica. Um, Zuper 8, 20. Zuper 8 for 20 points. Here's the question. Let's see how good your math is. Owls have the unique ability to turn their head three quarters of the way around, a rotation that is equal to how many degrees? How many degrees? Benjamin Stoddard has rung in. 360. Not 360, no. Three quarters of the way around. All right, be careful now. Make sure you get one shot at this. How many degrees can that owl turn its head? 370 because it is. Kettering now has the opportunity. 270, final answer. Say it again. 270, final answer. 270, absolutely right. Good, you talked it through and you got it right. Thank you, Kalia and Abner, everybody for helping over there. Go green. Let's get physical 10. Physical for 10 points, all right. If you're raising a terrapin, you'll need a UVB lamp above the tank so the turtles can absorb the chemical element that's needed in their shells and their bones. That chemical element symbol, symbol is capital C, small a. What is that chemical? Capital C, small a, stoddard, come on. Calcium. You got it, calcium it is. Good, go, red. Uh, Zupere 25. Zupere for 25, big one in that category. All right, well new basketball sensation Victor Wembenyama is seven feet four inches tall. He plays for the San Antonio Spurs. Just as impressive is the distance from the tips of his fingers from one hand. Jessica. Oh, 2.3. What? No, that's not the same. 2.3. It's not the same question as the last game. Not the same question. While new basketball sensation Victor Wembenyam uh, is seven foot four, if you can imagine, seven foot four. Just as impressive is the distance from the tips of his fingers of one hand to the tips of the other. That distance is often referred to by this term, usually associated with birds. Kettering. Final answer. Say it. Wingspan. Wingspan, exactly right. And his wingspan is eight feet, if you can imagine. He's got an eight foot wingspan. That's how big he is. All right, go green. Allison, go. Let's get, let's get physical 15. Physical for 15 points. All right. The shape of an airplane wing makes flight possible. The upper surface of the wing is concave, while the underside is the opposite of concave. What is that, Kettering? I think it's aerodynamic. Aerodynamic? Not aerodynamic. The opposite of concave, the upper surface of the airplane wing, is the underside, underside the opposite term from concave. Convex. Concave and convex are the pairs. Try again, please. Green. Green things five. Green things five points. If you sleep very soundly, you're set to sleep like one of these green things that is often thrown on a fireplace. Kettering. Log. A log. Answer. You sleep like a log, which means nothing is going to wake you up. Yeah, I'm envious. Go. Green again. Let's get physical five. Let's get physical five. Physical for five points. Puffy coats. Those bubble coats that we to keep us warm. They keep us warm because trapped air is a very good what? a very good what, Kettering? Insulator? Insulator, yes indeed. Thank you, Kalia and Abner. You're giving everything to Allison that she needs. It is the opposite of a conductor. Good, go, green. Come on, start it. Let's get back in here. Lots of points that we can give away. Let's get some of those. Green things 20. Green things 20 points. Here it is. Uh, bananas, maybe you never thought about it, but bananas have a downward curve. It is caused by negative geotropism. Meaning the fruits literally defy what? Kettering? 
Gravity. Gravity. And please wait till I acknowledge you before you say your answer over there, just so we can get the camera angle on there. I like your enthusiasm, but just wait. Just ring in and I'll get you. Gravity is right. Good answer. 20 more points. Go, Allison. Body systems, 25. Body for 25 points. All right. If you know CPR, about CPR, that will help you with this question. Bone marrow. The spongy tissue where your blood cells are made is found mostly in your ribs, in your pelvis, your vertebrae bones. And this S initialed bone right here in the center of your chest. Sternum. Allison. Sternum. Sternum it is, yes, AKA the breastbone. That's where you press if you're doing CPR to compress that heart to help to save a life. Good answer, go. Let's get physical 20. Physical for 20 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. If you've ever been to the beach and made a sandcastle, I bet it wasn't as good as this one. Look at that sandcastle. Wet sand holds together in the making of sandcastles because water's attractive quality is known as surface what? Surface what Kettering? Surface water's attractive quality is known Start as... Start it and I may come to you. I, if you have an answer for me, guys. All right. All of that sand sticks together because of water's attractive quality, Benjamin Stoddard, known as surface what? Tension. Surface tension. It also accounts for why insects can walk on water, you know, because the water molecules are attracted to each other. That was a tough question. No points. We go back to green. Allison, go. Let's get physical 25. Physical for 25 points. While birthday balloons are filled with helium gas, hot air balloons use this P-initialed liqui liquefied gas in the same chemical family as ethane, methane, and butane. Come on, Jessica. Potassium? Not potassium. Right. Oh, you came close. But P-initialed gas like methane, butane, and ethane is used for hot air balloons. Phosphorus? No, propane. Propane. A lot of you see those propane gas tanks when you pull into service stations. Yeah, for your gas burner in the backyard. Try again, please, green. Science potpourri five. Potpourri for five points. Because pigs aren't aerodynamic in the least. If someone tells you something that can't possibly be true, you say, huh, if only, it only if pigs do what? Fly. Fly, that's oh, right, oh, Donovan, right. yeah. When pigs fly, he was waiting for that one good. All right, go again, Red. Uh, science potpourri 20. Science potpourri for 20? Potpourri. Okay, Pope Brie for 20 points. Here we go. All right. Uh, 20 points, Pope Brie. <laughs> cathode and anode. That's a pair. Cathode and anode. It's a multiple choice question. Are cathode and anode the two moons orbiting Venus, the two vascular systems in a plant, or the positive and negative terminals on a battery? Stoddard. B. B, she says, the vascular systems in a plant. No, cathode and anode. Two moons orbiting Venus, two vascular systems in a plant. Positive and negative terminal on a battery. Battery? Battery, yeah, the last one, the positive and negative poles. Good, green, go. Signs potpourri 10. Potpourri for 10 points. All right, teams, this is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. You know, while you can't train a, ra a reptile, to let you fly on its back, like in the movies. You can train one of these very popular reptilian pets with an unshaven name to sit in your lap and be petted. Name that creature, Kettering. I know it. Bearded lizard, final answer. No, bearded dragon, final it's answer. It's a bearded dragon. You got it, Abner. Yeah, you came through with a great answer there. All right, that buzzer says, we've come to the end of the game. Looks like Kettering has done it. We'll double check that score and be back with you in just a moment. Welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed this game today as much as we did here in the studio. And yes, uh, scores aren't as close as they are sometimes, but what we value here is not just academic skill, but sportsmanship. These guys are great sports. They are some of Prince George's best students and we're proud of all of them. Our final tally today is Benjamin Stoddard, 100, Kettering, 250 points. Congratulations. Nice round of applause for that Kettering team over there. <laughs> Allison, tell us who's standing back there. You brought the whole school today. <laughs> so we have our two alternatives, um, Teresa and Marquia. 
and we also have Tafumi, and our coach is Mr. Ahenda, and then we have our principal, Ms. Struther, and our vice principal, Mr. Green. You did a very nice job, Allison. You're going to get good grades this semester for sure. Thank you very much, and let's have a nice round of applause for this Benjamin Stoddard team. <laughs> have not been here in so long, and Jessica, who's that wonderful coach back there? Dr. Martin. Absolutely. Dr. Martin, thank you for all you did to get this team ready to be. We are so happy to Benjamin, have Benjamin Sauter back. Don't be a stranger anymore. Please come back all the time. Thank you all for watching. Next time, another edition of Science Bowl. We'll be featuring Martin Luther King versus Kettering for that chance to go on to the county championship. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>